Ah, finally. Another five hours to go before I'm off the hook. Hanging in there, Ed. As always, Emmett. You? The same. May I join you? By all means. Thank you. How's the family? Good. <laughs> I keep my sister on her toes along with her husband, and I spoil their sons like crazy with candy. Just living the dream of being the fun uncle. Sounds like it. Nothing illegal, I presume? Nah, it's only illegal if you get caught. And what about you? How's the lady friend? Uh, still out touring with her dance troupe. They won't be back for another month. I'm expecting a letter today, or at least sometime this week. Well, at least you're keeping contact. Yes, but nothing is better than her presence. So, the ring on that finger of hers, along with a necklace around her neck yet? What? Emmett! <laughs> it was an honest question, Edmund. I mean, for heaven's sake, how long have you two been carting? Ed? You still functioning in there? Six months. Okay, so not that long, but she's practically got you wrapped around her finger. Why not take the next step? I mean, you do love her, right? More than anything, Bridget's my world along with my love of building. I just want to be able to provide for her and be the husband she would want. Some broke manufacturing lackey is not something a woman of her class would want. Ah, oh, come on, you're not broke. I mean, we aren't the best paid job, but come on. You're good at the whole managing your money thing. Budgeting? Yeah, that. You're good at that. Yeah, with the working class, but that's nothing, Ed. She loves you for you, I would hope. She does. I just want to be better. She deserves better. Ed, what she deserves is the best you can give. And where you are currently is the best you can do right now. Won't be for long. Just another month and then I'm out of this manufactory. I'll finally have enough money to open my own shop and buy a ring and necklace for Bridget. I just need a few more dollars and then it's on to a better life. Sounds like you got a plan, my friend. But just don't forget the things that matter. You know what I mean? Of course. Good. Shoot, break's over already. I swear they get shorter every time. See you around, Ed. One more month, and then I'm never doing this again. Alright, quick trip to the post office, and then straight home. Scott Ritchie? Well, if it isn't my favourite regular. <laughs> what can I do for you, Edmund? Is there any mail for me today from... you know? Ah, Miss Bridget. One moment. All the way from Central City State. Goodness, she's farther out than I was expecting. Well, she is part of one of the biggest dance troupes here in Halitus. It's no wonder they made it all the way to Central City State to perform. And I couldn't be happier for her. I just eagerly await her return. And I'm sure she eagerly awaits you to read that letter and write a reply. Now, I better see you in here in a few days with the letter canister addressed to her. Sir, yes, sir. Good. Now get out of here!
My dear, dear Edmund. Edmund. Central City State is more amazing than I ever imagined it being. Oh, I wish you could see it. They have some of the greatest technological advances in steam technology that our dear Halitus could only dream of having. If there's ever a way, I want to be able to take you here so you can see it for yourself, because I don't think any description I could give would ever be able to truly describe it. Our troop is doing well in the city. People have really enjoyed our performances, and they even threw flowers onto the stage after a finale one night. The best part for me, though, is that I've gotten to meet some of my idols like the Sunflower Dancer from Eden. She gave me some pointers on how to improve my technique, and even gave me her mailing address. She wants to keep in touch. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, Edmund. I really wish you were here. I'm having the time of my life, but nothing would make it better than having you beside me during all this. So I could look into the crowd and see those deep blue eyes as I dance. I look forward to returning home. I miss Halitas, and I miss you. I can't wait to see your latest inventions and toys. They're always such a pleasure to see, and it's always fun to watch you get so excited as you explain what they do and how they work. I look forward to next month, when we see each other again. With love, Bridget Martell. P.S. I put a little gift in the canister. Hopefully no one in the mail system stole it. It's nothing big. Just something you can wear on your tie, and it matches your favorite vest. I hope you like it. Oh, Bridget! One more month. Just one more month. 